I just got so much mail. Let's open all of it. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. Actually, okay, I know what the big box is and it's very exciting, but the other stuff, I don't know, no idea. This one, this one feels crazy. Oftentimes the mail that I get is just book mail, which is great. I love getting books, but this doesn't feel like a book. Oh, I think this is a soap. Oh, or is it? Oh, it's a body serum. It's a serum. That sounds nice. And I think it's gonna smell really good. Oh, that smells amazing. The scent is cedar leaf, juniper, and smoked sandalwood. It's from Uni. They just sent it to me. This is very nice. I'm into that. Ripple, also, don't know. Oh, this is an incense company. Oh, that's so fun. I'm excited about this. They messaged me on Instagram. It's like a really small family owned business. I might be wrong. I think it's a bunch of siblings that started the business. That might not be true. I don't even know why I'm telling you that. That might not be true at all, but it might be. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at this. The thing that you burn the incense on top of. It's like just this cute little rock and you take the cones and you burn them on top of it. That's so nice. This feels like books, but not books that I ordered, just books that were sent to me. I haven't actually bought a book in a while. Kind of overdue. Wow, maybe we'll do a book haul this week. That could be fun. This is a very nice tote bag. What is this? What? Gonna be honest, don't really understand what it is, but it's very nice. And the tote bag also very nice. Okay, that's great. Okay, now the big one. This is what I'm most excited for. This very cool girl named Michelle. She curates these style bundles. I selected 10 photos and then I submitted them to her and then a little description of the bundle that I was looking for. And I'll show you all the photos of all this, the outfits that I sent her. And I'm so excited to open this. She just has such good taste. Like I always see her outfits on Instagram and I love everything that she wears. And I think it's gonna be really, really good. Oh, this feels nice. Oh my gosh, and she wrote this sweet little note on it. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, this is just a perfect sweater. Oh, it's okay. This is totally 90s J. Crew, which I specified in my description that I love anything like cotton 90s J. Crew. Okay, I'm going to try it on. This is such a perfect cotton sweater. It feels so good. The color's so good. I love the neckline. It's a very good fit. Yeah, this is so nice. Okay, Joni's sitting in the box, so it's a little hard to access the next things. This is also J. Crew. This is so the kind of thing, if I saw it when I was thrifting, I wouldn't think to pick it up. But now that I have it on, it's such a good fit. The sleeves are a really good length. I have super long arms, so I struggle with jackets fitting my the length of my arms. It's like the perfect length. This is a really good jacket. And I just love that it's J. Crew. And yeah, it's great. I have some fun layering pieces. Oh, okay. Hey, I don't own a sweater vest. I've always wanted a sweater vest. This feels so good. Oh my God, what is this made of? It feels amazing. Ooh, okay. This might be my favorite thing so far. This is so nice. Okay, there's two more things. I love the fit of this shirt and I feel like it would look really good with tall boots. I feel like the color maybe doesn't look great on me which is a me problem. I think it just kind of washes me out, but 
I would definitely consider dyeing this like a darker brown and I think it would look really nice. I also love the buttons. This has been crazy. There's been so much stuff in this box. Oh, I love this already. Yeah, perfect striped button down shirt. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, this is a perfect shirt. It feels so nice. The stripe. There has not been a single miss in this box. This is gorgeous. Okay, yeah, this is good. I love anything that feels like it could have been worn by a Victorian child. This is so nice. This dress is my new favorite dress. This is so nice. Okay. I have to stand to show you. It's so good. It fits so well. Okay, get a style bundle from Michelle because these are all of my new favorite things. That's so exciting. I ordered tons of groceries yesterday when I got home because I didn't really feel like going to the grocery store. So now I'm just gonna make a vegetarian bolognese that I was obsessed with a few months ago and ate like every single day for a week. And then I got kind of tired of it, but now I'm really craving it again. It's so easy. I'll just show you how I make it. This would be so much easier if I had a food processor, but basically you just cut up cauliflower really, really small and then cut up cremini mushrooms really small and then you roast them on a sheet pan. Then we just put a bunch of olive oil on this and salt and pepper and just mix it all and put it in the oven. I just realized I don't have any thyme, as in the herb, not like, but the recipe kind of needs thyme. It's like sort of important. And I also have to get Joni some cat food anyway. So we're just gonna run to the grocery store and yeah, we're gonna get some time because I think it's important. So be right back. This has been in the oven for like 20 minutes. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal if I pull it out and then just put it back in when I get home. I feel like it won't really affect how it's cooked. It's just going into a sauce, so whatever. It'll be fine. It's so nice out. I was expecting to come home to like minus 30 weather, but it's like beautiful. home and completely forgot that I was filming making that pasta and I just forgot uh, so I'll just link the recipe below and I'm sure at some point I'll make it again and I'll show you how to make it but it's very very easy I think I was just so hungry and kind of delirious but now I'm gonna go eat out of the shower i'm gonna quickly do my makeup and get ready for the day i have to write i basically have to do a full assignment today because while i was in mexico i got an extension on the assignment and then just kind of procrastinated the whole thing until 
today as due tomorrow at noon, but I don't think it'll be too difficult and my prof for that course is pretty chill, so I'm not really worried about it. But yeah, I need to do that today. I'm also going to pick up a rug from someone on Facebook Marketplace and I'll show you the rug. I'm really, really excited about it. My mom is gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go get it today around three. I'm also looking at an apartment tomorrow. I'm just like telling you about everything that I'm doing. This portion of the video is just me dumping all of my plans onto you. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go look at an apartment because I'm thinking about moving. I'm gonna go look at two units in a building tomorrow. And then on Friday, I'm gonna go look at two more units in another building. They're both, I think all the units are two bedroom units, which is exciting and also like a lot of space for one person. But yeah, I'm kind of excited. The only reason I'm moving is because my roommate is coming back from Mexico. When we were living together, we basically only lived together for like a month. And I'm just a little bit worried about Joni fucking with his stuff and being annoying. I also kind of have to sleep with my bedroom door open, which is a bit of a weird thing to do when you have a roommate, but Joni doesn't like when doors are closed. So I have to sleep with my bedroom door open. So it's it would probably just be better if I found my own place. So I might be moving in the next month, which is kind of crazy. I'm also excited, it's like I get to buy a couch and I get to buy a kitchen table and like new kitchen stuff and cutlery. And I think that'll be really fun. Uh, it's also scary. I've never lived in my own place. I've always had a roommate or I've lived with a partner or I've lived with friends. Yeah, it's, it's kind of exciting. I'm gonna have so many days of just looking at Facebook Marketplace and picking stuff up and going to the thrift store and trying to find furniture and trying to find stuff for my kitchen. And yeah, I'll kind of show you guys. I have a whole Pinterest board where I've been collecting images of houses and apartments and decorating ideas for years. So I'm kind of excited to finally be able to decorate a place and not have to ask someone else's opinion. Like I just get to get what I want and that's gonna be really fun. So yeah, I think the next couple of weeks are gonna be a lot of apartment viewings and hello. And furniture hunting. The rest of today, I'm gonna to be doing that assignment. And, oh, it's my dad. It was my dad's birthday last week. So I'm going to my parents for dinner. So my mom and I are gonna pick up that rug and then I'm gonna to go to their house for dinner. That's today. I'm just about to go look at two units in an apartment building. And then I think I'm gonna go and just sit in a coffee shop and try to do some work. Then, this evening at four, I'm gonna go look at another unit in a building that I'm really excited about. I went and saw it a few years ago and ended up not living there, but it's huge and amazing. I feel like it's very comparable to the apartment I'm in now, but it's only a two bedroom and not a three bedroom, which would make a lot more sense for me. So I'm gonna go do all of those things today. And that's what today's gonna be. I am just wearing this sweater that you guys have seen a million times. It's just like a wool sweater that I thrifted. And then my black Levi's. I don't know what jacket I'm gonna wear. I feel like it's kind of nice out actually. So maybe, maybe something light, but it's not sunny at all. It's really, really gloomy. So kind of a good day to just go and be in a coffee shop and not be at home. I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's go.
I just had all of my extensions taken out today. I thought I was going to be having them put back in as well, but I needed my stylist to order some new ones. So now this is what my hair looks like. I kind of forgot how curly it is. It looks so different to me. Yeah, but it feels good to actually be able to like scratch my scalp again. I just painted my nails. I'm just going to put a top coat on them. And then I think I'm going to go and get lunch. I don't want to get pho maybe. And then I'm going to go to a coffee shop and do some editing and some planning for a video. Oh, and I'm getting a drink with a friend tonight. That's today. I just submitted all the documentation that I needed to submit for an apartment and they got back to me super fast. I just got approved. So I'm moving and I'm moving. This is, wow. I'm moving, this place is great. The building is incredible. I walked inside and the hallways looked like the hallways from The Shining in the best way possible. Like they're just these massive, beautiful wide hallways the unit is it's a one bedroom one bath it's not my dream unit but i think there are really really nice units in the building like the unit i'm in is nice but i think there are other ones that are better and so there's a chance that if i just stay in the building long enough i'll be able to move into a nicer unit and Honestly, okay, the kitchen is beautiful. I'm just like really all over the place because I'm really excited. But yeah, it's great. This is my first apartment that I'm gonna have by myself. And yeah, I'm moving. <laughs>